You've been using it since you first learned to read and write as a child. It's a pencil. When you press too hard on a pencil, the pencil tip you carefully sharpened used to snap. Many of you would know that this pencil lead is made of graphite. But did you also know that this well-known graphite is essential in producing lithium-ion batteries? What role does graphite play in lithium-ion batteries, which are paving the way for the cordless era? Now, let's explore graphite more thoroughly. Let's take a look at the word graphite. Graphite is said to be derived from the Greek word graphene, which means to write. Isn't it safe to say that graphite has been used as a writing tool since ancient times? This graphite shares something in common with the costly gem diamond. Both graphite and diamond are entirely carbon-based. However, due to differences in their crystal structures, the two minerals have different properties. Unlike hard and shiny diamond, graphite is a very soft material with 1.5 hardness and 2.23 specific gravity. Its color is glossy black or iron gray. With its dark color and soft texture, graphite appears to be only suitable for everyday uses, such as pencils. So how exactly does it work as a lithium-ion battery material? Graphite is composed of a thin layer of three carbon atoms that are bonded together. Several carbon layers are stacked on top of one another. This is why graphite is widely used as an anode material for lithium-ion batteries. Lithium ions from the cathode are stored in the anode of lithium-ion batteries. When the ions are released, electrical energy is generated. Thanks to its consistent layered structure, graphite is the ideal anode material to store lithium ions stably. However, there was one area for improvement. Graphite expands, slightly increasing in volume when storing lithium ions. The structure of the battery gradually changes as it is repeatedly charged and discharged. As a result, the storage capacity of lithium ion batteries gradually decreases, as does battery life. If so, how can this be tackled? We can create artificial graphite and use it instead of natural graphite as anode material. Artificial graphite is produced at temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius, and its internal structure is more uniform and stable than natural graphite. As a result, structural change is minimal, even after repeated charges and discharges. As a result, the battery has a longer lifespan because of its structural properties. It has more lithium ion passages than natural graphite, making it suitable for rapid charging. Don't forget that graphite is essential not only for pencil lead, but also as a significant material in lithium ion batteries, which improves our lives. Also, as demand for high capacity batteries rises, research into rapid changing anode materials is accelerating. In our next episode, we'll look at silicon, the important next-generation anode material. See you next time.